Hello Aquarians and Crosswatchers, welcome to your video. So I did channel a song and it's by Alicia Keys. It's called Fallen and I will put the song with the lyrics in the description box below if you want to check it out. Um, so maybe you're having a hard time shaking somebody. Maybe someone's having a hard time shaking you. All right, keep in mind, this is a general reading. It's up to you to discern if their messages are for you or not. Also keep in mind, uh, roles can be reversed because I'm just reading the energy. So it could go either way, all right? I've already said my prayers and I want to be the first to tell you that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world. And I want to thank each and every one of you for being here, for sharing your time and your energy with me. I value you and the divine values you. And thank you, thank you so much for being here. So let's see what wants to come out with the Oracle card. Let's see where we're headed with this. Show me what I need to see for this reading. This, this song I channeled, Alicia Keys, Fallen. Okay. We got message and a bottle. We have not for you on the bottom of the deck. So there might be something that's not for you that's leaving your life things are changing okay maybe there's someone you're aligning with and maybe there's something in that person's life that is not meant for them and it leaves it can go either way but we do have message in the bottle this is number 15 and it turns to six which six is the lovers in tarot six for me is very much like a a venus number okay um love and beauty and all this we had flexible and it came out in the reverse specifically so um you know you might be seeing nines wands uh but this can be a 10 it could be the endings all right um and you could be seeing sixes and fives now if you do see a lot of fives five 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 fives in sequence like that it usually is uh it usually means change is coming some kind of change now we have clean it up which is 21 but it could also be three you could be seeing threes twos ones tens nines sixes fives um, so just keep that in mind there's something here that could be changing and somebody reaches out okay you reach out to someone somebody reaches out to you however it wants to go um, but regardless a lot of people are going to be experiencing endings and new beginnings because Pluto's entering into Aquarius for the next 20 years on November 19th. And so a lot of things are going to be wrapping up, all right, that aren't meant for any of us. Okay, all of us, all of us signs here. So let's just see what wants to come out. I'm going to do a Celtic spread. And I literally feel like that's what's happening. So I do think if there are any connections that are meant to come together any connections i don't care romantic or whatnot any connections business love money friendship friends uh, i said that family if i didn't say that it's things will wrap up so that those can come together all right i think it's also a good time for uh, what's not meant for you to leave and i think it's also a good time to mend things with things that are meant with you and other people and i'm not talking about abusers and stuff like that but i do think it is a time for peace and forgiveness and um, mending fences that weren't that broken okay if you know what i mean weren't that broken so let's see what wants to come out i'm going to do the celtic spread here we got the devil in reverse literally perfect perfect analogy here we got it's capricorn as for a sign but it, it's talking about what's not meant for you or any of us what's what's really is supposed to be leaving all of our lives is these toxic cycles and we do <laughs> we do have somebody feeling left out in the cold and we have a four wands so there might be somebody missing home which is you and i did channel that in a reading the other day and i will link that at the end screen if you want to check that reading out if you didn't see it show me what else i need to see here let's continue more than anything it's about going after happiness or goal message in the bottle with that being a guide card here i would say more than anything maybe somebody wants to speak to you because this page of cups in reverse can talk about a conversation that needs to happen that hasn't happened and that came out in my afternoon reading today earlier from a different deck of cards so 
maybe if I can link both videos, I will if I can. Um, let's continue. So we have the past energy. It talks about um, no more. Somebody has come to realization, literally. This is Pisces energy reverse, hangman reverse. Somebody is looking at something very honestly here not wasting any more time with a karmic situation or a literal aries leo sag it didn't go anywhere okay um so somebody who could have went away from you in, a, in another direction somebody may be realizing now is the time to come in and i did you know it is a good time it is a good time to do final things wrap up what's not meant for you and to amend with those who it is meant and like i said you know it's not going to be like somebody severely abused you and then getting back with them you forgive them because that forgiveness is for you but this is more like something where the fence isn't really that broken okay it's just it's something that can get beyond and it does not have to be a love interest um taurus virgo capricorn here Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn, and Libra so far is what I see. And this has to do with an injustice, something that just wasn't fair. All right. Tell me about the near future. I am going to clarify all this. That's a lot. The Empress. You know, this is very much for those of you mothers or fathers, those in the Yen energy who are separated from your loved one, child, something like this. Um, definitely with this page of wands, but this is somebody who could reach out. This is that message in a bottle. And this could be somebody who is a divine counterpart who, you know, they realize or they see. This is somebody, you know, the empress is married, the empress is a mother, the empress is divine feminine. So who, whoever, however that resonates for you, this is a return, okay? And like I said, maybe someone's having a hard time shaking you with the song that I picked up, or maybe it's vice versa. But there is something, you know, with the Seven of Swords that happened in the past here. Something that wasn't correct. Um, seven of Swords always talks about, you know, lies, deception. Um, sometimes it can talk about strategy, but not in this case. In this case, something happened in the past between you and another person somebody hasn't done anything somebody's sort of looking at their ways how they've been inconsistent in life might be looking at patterns somebody might be looking at how it's taken them a long time to learn a lesson and feel sort of bad about this um somebody definitely rejected you or vice versa and someone's really looking at this someone's looking at this and they want to come in they want to come in now um, could be somebody Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy show me the self position and the staff self that's too much but I think that's the staff okay all right like I said in the beginning, it really, it's somebody's wish for fulfillment, honestly, to just be back in your energy. It, it's someone's wish for fulfillment. And it's going to start with like a conversation or a message. Somebody might be like, a uh, quick analogy. You might get a text message, uh, uh, a voicemail, a DM, you know, something even through Facebook. Any way that someone can give you a message, somebody might just say, hey, can we talk? just simple something can we talk because no sense in anybody pouring out their guts because we do have somebody who has a lot to say no sense in somebody doing that until first of all we know if there can be a conversation that could be had so somebody's definitely definitely wanting a conversation here um maybe this is somebody who just was sort of rigid they weren't really flexible they were could have been very stubborn even Tell me about the devil. Let's start clarifying. Tell me about the devil in the reverse. That Capricorn energy in the reverse. And it's it's like Saturn too. It's like learning lessons here. Tell me about that. Not being controlled by whatever. 
on the bottom we have a very generous person all right and we have someone coming in yes definitely um, we have the devil reverse this is an action card king of wands it stands for Leo Aries or Sag but it's an action card you see how this person is ready to get up off their chair and make a move well basically yeah somebody's about ready to get up on the chair off the chair make a move okay and it's very favorable um, but somebody has here a lot in their emotional body and somebody feels it's time to say what, what they need to say and like I said I will try to link I will try to link those videos I can probably only link one I'm not sure but I'll try to put it in the uh, end box for you guys. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. I do have Sagittarius and Pisces energy with that, along with the Leo Aries Sag. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. I did see, because um, I just saw the Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Nine of Swords in the reverse. Nine of Swords talks about a loss of sleep, but this is the thing i feel like if someone's been losing sleep over reaching out saying something here that's what's going to cause them to break the silence like someone's being probably nudged nudged to reach out page of swords somebody is being nudged here to reach out they're not going to know the outcome or the potential until they reach out tell me about the page of cups Now, again, if this is somebody who, you know, if this is sort of related to earlier reading, if this is somebody who has something to say, you know, because that was strongly somebody wanted to um, say that they wanted to go forward with a commitment, that would be if you're already with somebody, they've been keep keeping quiet about it. But if, you, if this is not the case, this person has been holding back. There, but this seems like it's more a little bit different like because I didn't get the seven of swords in the earlier reading So I do feel like this is a situation where Something happened between you and this person in the past and this person Definitely wants to come back in they want whatever this toxic karmic cycle was they're ready for it to be over like now's the time For it to be over and here we have strong Virgo with the hermit and Queen of Wands Aries Leo Sag karmic energy reverse reverse here somebody could have been confused in some sort of illusion here when it comes to the empress divine feminine literally the mother um but it par apparently appears to be aquarius okay so tell me about the page of cups reverse is defined by the page of cups reverse we have the same card twice two different decks now that don't happen very often so this is a situation where somebody really um they really want to have this conversation with you they want a heart-to-heart -heart conversation uh they want to unload they want to get what's on their chest off their chest okay so they can finally have some peace some rest but it's probably going to start with a very small message of, you know, something like, hey, can we talk? Um, something like that with the Page of Pentacles. It's, it's a very, it starts off with very small talk. But there's somebody who has a lot to say. Something, something, someone has a lot to say here. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. The past energy. Seven of Pentacles and Queen of Wands reverse. Of course, we're going to drop on the floor. Queen of Cups in the reverse. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so they're cutting off some energy. Um, but that's already what it says. So they're definitely cutting off some energy. Um whoever this person is they're, they're cutting off or you're cutting off maybe you have to cut someone off in order for this to happen but there is an energy but remember we had the hangman reverse clarifying this and the and the split so somebody's gained some sort of awareness that in order you know that somebody has to get cut out of the equation someone gets cut off definitely it's a karmic cycle whatever it is it seems like it's a person and this person would be karmic for them or for you tell me about the in injustice here justice in the reverse 
tell you about justice in reverse. Libra energy. Why is this reverse? Five of Wands. Okay. So, somebody who hasn't come in, all right? And I feel like it's someone you don't expect. They could have water in their chart. But this is a person who has a lot of emotions that they're holding back. Um, I feel like what they want to write a wrong action, basically. All right? There's something that happened in the past between you and them. And I feel that somebody wants to come in and they just want to fix that. Whatever that was that happened. Um, I feel like they're not expecting you. Because they're sort of looking at it like if I don't come in, they're not going to come in. I want to ask real quickly. We have you on the bottom and the Hermit. So I have Aquarius and Virgo right here. Um, why are they not expecting Aquarius? Why is Aquarius not? It looks like Aquarius isn't, but I'm not, you know, this can always be roles reversed, but somebody is not expecting it. I want to ask, what, not, don't worry about Aquarius or not. Why is this person not expecting to be able to maybe work this out? Maybe they won't. Ex they, maybe they won't expect you to want to talk to them or be reciprocal. Why are they not? Or it just maybe it hasn't happened yet. Tell me about that. Could be breaking of a contract though too. Somebody might have to break literally a marriage contract. It's a decision. So someone's trying to figure out about how to come in they want to come in but there's another energy that has to be out somebody may have to break literally a marriage contract in order for this to happen sometimes you know it can be uh, a king of cups can be someone who's been in a relationship for quite a while we have justice reverse with three of wands reverse whoever the third energy is it does seem like a person there is a third person that has to leave the equation, be cut out of the spiritual contract or literal contract in order for this to happen, all right? And um, it's there's an emperor energy who wants this, okay? Divine masculine, boss, somebody in charge who wants this change. But there's some sort of wounding, wounding that is holding this person back. All right, let's continue on. I feel like you, um, you're not focused on this person, but I also feel like um, you're not focused on them, but yet you don't have your guards up against them. Like, I feel you would hear this person out. Anyway, tell me about the near future. Tell me about the Empress. Venus energy. Could be Taurus or Libra energy. Two of Pentacles. It's this decision. Somebody's making a decision about the Empress. But they have made the decision in the near future. Because the Two of Pentacles goes from thinking about it. This person goes from thinking about it to two of pentacles reverse so you go from two of pentacles in the upright to reverse so that means someone goes from thinking about it to making the decision and they return two of wands reverse they return and they release something whatever this five of swords is there's two people literally having an argument or discussion but they release they might have to you know maybe there was an energy between you and them there's an argument that happens they decide to release that person or you do someone like I said could be in some sort of commitment or marriage tell me about the star they reach out to the star it looks like but that could be opposite okay but it looks like someone reaches out to the star the star is Aquarius this is a wish fulfillment it's like destiny as well Remember, we had the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. The time is right for this. It really is. 
it really is the right timing for all of this because everything that's not meant for all of us right now is meant to sort of wrap up. Pluto is going to be bringing a lot of changes for everybody because that's what it does. Pluto changes and transforms. And in the age of Aquarius, you're going to see a lot of change and transformation, especially in technology and medicine. Won't be surprised if the brain chip doesn't become a thing. Tell me about the Seven of Swords reverse. Somebody returns despite whatever this Seven of Swords was. I don't need to clarify the Eight of Cups. We have Virgo, Gemini energy. Somebody really wants to come in and say what's on their mind. It landed on the Ace of Swords. Somebody wants to clear things up about the past, why they did what they did, vice versa here. There has not been a conversation about this. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody wants to heal it with you. For sure. You two were like a very, you two make a very strong power couple. This is also the Empress. This person might be like a wild heart, someone hard to tame, but um, they could have been resisting the connection. Who knows? Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles and the reverse, the Emperor. Queen of Wands. Yeah. So the blockage in all of this, the Emperor is looking at Aries, Leo, Sag, or this sort of karmic um, energy for them, if that's what it is. Somebody is wondering if the other person will walk away from it all, or somebody is looking at this like, I have to walk away from this. I'm telling you, there's got to be an energy that gets cut out for this to happen. It definitely looks like a person. But we have Five of Cups, Reverse, and the Three of Pentacles, and then Justice. Somebody really wants to come in and make things right. You know, somebody's on board. They're willing to compromise. They're willing to do the work. They're willing to learn new things, whatever it is. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, Earth Energy. If you look at what it's clarifying here, remember we have message in a bottle. This is an earth sign card reaching out. We often associate birds with air or Aquarius or knowledge or messages, right? That's why there's always birds with messages. But on the Aquarius card, there's a there's a bird as well on the yeah, right here. If you notice on the Aquarius card, there's always birds you know, around Aquarius. So because it's air sign and birds are in the air. Now this is a Virgo. Now somebody who may have taken a very long time to reach out because this is somebody who takes like the Tamiami Trail. They make every stop along the way. Um, who reaches out? This could be someone you have not heard from in a very, a very long time. Tell me about the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Someone might be a little confused or they might be, you know, when it comes to maybe th there was a lie that has to be explained here, and it's like, you know, this is some sort of guidance, integration, balance. In order for balance to come about, it's like whatever happened in the past, even though it can be buried, whatever happened in the past needs to be discussed. Um, and it might have to do with somebody. If there was anything that had to do with a home, a loss of a home, or a tower moment that happened in someone's life. Um, you know, it's like a quick analogy. Let's say you and this person knew each other in the past and then somebody had a tower moment and the other person just sort of vanished, disappeared, left them hanging during one of their worst times. And then it's somebody who comes back to try to be like, want to explain that, not knowing how to explain that, but wanting to, and also being guided to. So the fear is it could blow up in somebody's face, though dearly somebody wants to heal this. In other words, they want you to forgive them and get on from the past. But in order for that to happen, maybe it's a conversation that just has to happen about it. Let's move on to the ending, which looks quite good. We have Aquarius in the upright, which is wish fulfillment. All right. This card always reminds me of star seeds coming together. All right. Uh, because of the stars. Look at all the stars. Um, I feel like you and this person, you guys just know each other. You've lived lives together. You have a close connection. This is a card of past lives, siblings, children, and memories. 
I think that you both think about each other from time to time, but like I said, some time has gone by and we have, you know, a wish fulfillment. We have coming together um, in a very close connection. So I do like the ending in this. But like I said, this is not going to be mending things with someone who was totally uh like really bad in your life and abusive there there i heard riff there was some sort of like riff a little riff between you but other than that like there was nothing else like this is something that two people can get beyond this is something that two people can get beyond the seven of swords can be released it absolutely can this can be dropped so it's not that person who was abusive your whole life or marriage or it's not that but this was something that it was this can we can get past this that's that's the energy i'm getting here so tell me about the star card the world i really don't think you want it to be over with this person they don't want it to be over with you um i do get like i said eclipse energy with this so the world talks about endings and beginnings but it also in the reverse talks about a return so i got the two of ones in return i got the Eight of Cups um, in reverse, that's a return. And I have the world in reverse, that can be a return. So keep that in mind. It's also fixed energy of Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, and Scorpio. Tell me about the Three of Cups. I ended on this King of Cups. This is this person who has all these emotions about you. Somebody is literally going to have to get out of their head of being sad, thinking, and not being able to sleep to just literally putting it to rest by coming in, all right? And I think that they will. I think that this is a very generous person. This is a person who has a lot to offer. They're in a King of Pentacles type of energy towards Virgo Capricorn. They might be a person of status and wealth, but this is a person who has a lot to offer and you might be seeing this person very soon. But like I said, somebody who is married um, might not be staying married, okay? <laughs> Because we have the Hierophant in reverse along with justice in reverse so that this new relationship can happen. Um, this long-term relationship at that. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Landed again on this person and their emotion strength. Now it's in the upright. I'm telling you, you two are strong. I don't care what happened between you guys in this life. I guarantee somebody had to learn a karmic lesson. You or them or both of you. And you guys have lived past lives and you guys will live future lives. And this is not enough to tear you guys apart. Like it will never happen. You both signed on to do this. And now it's the perfect time to move beyond this. It's the perfect time to heal this and to fight for your relationship. Whether it's a friendship a family ship, somebody it didn't work out with, I don't care. It's time. It's time. If it's meant to be, it's time. It's time to happen before the end of the year. Anyway, guys, I'm going to close out with a bonus card. I want to thank everybody for showing up. I love you guys. You guys always bring a smile to me, especially when I'm able to get into chat. You guys always cheer me up. I hope I do the same for you. Let's see what the bonus card is. You are protected. You are safe within my bubble of light. You can proceed with confidence. So I think if you heal things with this person, I don't think it's ever going to go back to what happened because a karmic cycle is closing and this riff is meant to be healed. But you guys always follow your heart, always meditate, ask for divine guidance beyond whatever I say here. I love you guys. I will see you in the next video. And I love you guys so, so much. I really do. Namaste, my friends.